Hi guys, it's Josh here, and I have my tinfoil hat on. I'm on Facebook. I'm not able to get on Dark Age of Camelot right now because I'm uploading some videos. Uh, one is me playing Super Punch Out earlier today, just, you know, entertainment factor, because I love playing that game. It's pretty fun. Um, the other one is one of my final Dark Age of Camelot videos before I deleted my characters and switched servers due to the issues I'm running into on that game with the toxic behaviors and the treatment from other players in that game. Um, and the third one, of course, is a video on the fruits of Tim, La Tim Ryan's labor, which I do recommend if you're from Warren, Ohio or Youngstown, that you go ahead and check it out, especially if you're not from those areas because he's running for Senate. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into this one because this one is piggybacking off of my suspicious activity with the ARFID chips. Tesla owner implants chip in hand to unlock and start car. That's an ARFID chip. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to disable all that stuff on your Android device iPhones are going to have this embedded in the iOS software and they're going to have the hardware like the accelerom accelerometer and the different pieces of hardware inside the smartphone that are able to monitor and communicate with ARFID chips that are inside our bodies. Like I said, tinfoil hat, I'm, I'm going to put it on, okay? Uh, the technology for ARFID chips was patented in the U.S. in 1998. The technology for it has been birthed since 1945, which is right around the same time that cellular telephones were starting to be in their infancy of development by Motorola, of all companies, okay? So, as you've seen in my last video, I have the sensors off, okay? Now, if you normally drag down your menu, okay, and you click the little gear, it'll bring you to your settings, okay? And if you click the little pencil, it brings up additional settings. But notice, I have a lot more than most Android users have. I have all kinds of different settings. And that's because I unlocked the developer settings. Okay, so to do that, to get these sensors off, because notice the sensor looks like an ECG, an electrocardiogram. And if you watched my video, the MIT article said what? Since 2010, they've been trying to develop technology or working on technology so smartphones can monitor our heart rate and our breathing rates, okay, through ARFID chips that don't even need a battery. Okay, so to do this, you have to go all the way down to About Phone, all right, when you tap on that, you have to go all the way down to Build Number, all right, you have to tap it seven times, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, mine says, no need. All right, let's try this again because the camera focuses off. No need. You are already a developer. Okay, so when you tap that seven times, all right, it's going to bring up prompts that are going to allow you to become registered as a Google developer and access additional settings that are not available normally on your phone. Okay, to find those settings... I believe they are under system. Okay, system. I believe it's advanced. Developer options. Notice I have all kinds of different. I can see I'm using 2.1 gigs average of my 2.9 gigs of RAM. I have bug reports. I have all kinds of different. I don't even know what half this stuff does. Okay. But you'll notice on a normal Android device, you don't have this. This is all hidden. And you cannot get the setting to turn your sensors off quickly or at all without unlocking those. It's hidden in the, it's hidden in the operating system. Now, when you turn these sensors off, it's going to disable your camera. Your camera can generate an RF signal. Okay, I have an app on my phone called Detectify that can use infrared to find surveillance cameras. Why? Because surveillance cameras generate a slight radio frequency field. They generate a slight amount of radio frequency, and infrared can see that. Okay? The other thing you're going to be looking for is permissions manager in your privacy. Body sensors. Okay? 
Ah, drop my phone, you son of a... All right, let's take a look at those body sensors. Let's look at that description one more time. Apps with this permission can access sensor data about your vital signs. Now, how is this phone accessing my vital signs? When I don't have any apps to detect my heart rate or anything that I use or install. Okay. Well... My particular phone, not every particular phone has this with Android. Okay, so you can skip this part if you do a search and it's not there. Okay. CQA test app. Notice it's part of the it's part of the operating system. It can't be deleted. You can force stop it or disable it. I recommend disabling it. Since I have done this on my phone and set, shut the sensors off, I no longer walk in front of a radio and block its radio frequencies and static the stations. Okay. Now, I don't know what's going on here, but this technology has been around since 1945. It was patented in 1998. It's just finally coming to light since 2010, and it's linked to mobile phones. And how often do we find ourselves constantly on our phones for everything i'm gonna let you guys do your own assessments but that's how you turn all this stuff off if you're not sure i haven't made a video of how to do it okay now i'm not exactly a prophet okay I, I read the bible now the bible says the mark of the beast is implanted in a person's right hand or their forehead i believe it says or it may say and okay I'm not saying that this is the mark of the beast. I'm saying this is something that could open that door or be dangerous for people in general. Okay? That's what I'm saying. This is something that we should not be embracing technologically because this is something that could be used for something so evil because this has the capability to monitor our actual vital signs. Meaning somebody who can interpret that data, such as a doctor or a psychologist, can then use that data to manipulate us. Because they know our physical condition. Okay, they could alter and forge medical records. This is dangerous stuff, people. This is stuff that needs to be avoided. I'm going to go put my tinfoil hat back on. I'm out.